Okay. Hey, Rise families. I sure do miss you guys. Um, this is your friendly speech therapist um, locked in her house. Um, we are going to try this virtual speech therapy thing, and it's a super big challenge for me because I chose this field because of the dynamic, the interactive, uh, the relational nature of the work. So not being in physical space with your babies is like crushing <laughs> to me to a certain extent. Um, but we're going to do the best we can. And what I'm really hoping is to have some contact with you. And here's how all this is going to go down. Um, I am going to post six videos a week, two for each sort of grouping of classes. Purple and yellow will be one video. Uh, green and blue will be another video. And then pink and red will be another video. And um, there's going to be one video for each group that covers the theme for the week and one video for each group that focuses on the letter slash sound for the week. And while some of it's going to maybe be entertaining for your kids, a lot of it is going to sort of be trying to teach you. I'm trying to make you into little speech therapy assistant people. Um, so on Mondays, I'll spend my time doing those two things. I am also going to create um, books that you can drop in pictures and your child's name to individualize. I use um, Google Sheet. Um, what's the Google one? It's PowerPoint and Google Slides, I think. Um, and the teachers will send those to you, link them to you through their Facebook pages, and you can modify them as you wish. Those little books will be sort of theme related. Um, then I have set up a sign up genius. Hopefully the teachers have sent you the link and they're 30 minute blocks. Now all of this is sort of a moving target. I have got one kid who started at home learning to lay today. I mean, maybe the kid did an hour of work <laughs> and I got another kid starting on Wednesday. So this is kind of we're all trying to figure out how to make structure here. Um, but I would deeply love for you to find a time once or twice a week and you and your child and I will FaceTime and we can, you know, in that connection, um, talk about techniques that work for your kid, um, the next level, level to scaffold them for their language and sentence structure and vocabulary acquisition. Um, if we want to target a specific sound, um, then we will do that specifically um, for some of our traditional learners. If you feel like you've got an Arctic issue, there were a couple of kiddos that I was sort of informally targeting, and I can, for older ones for sure, we can do that um, through FaceTime or Zoom, whatever y'all prefer. Um, so I know the, um, temptation is to throw your kids on, um, videos and screen time. And God knows I certainly feel that temptation too. Unfortunately, the data is really damning, um, <clears throat> regarding screen time. And I'm sorry to share that bad news with you, but, um, with the exception of FaceTiming family members, none of it is positive. Some of it is closer to neutral. Most of it is negative. So um, knowing that we still have to deal with reality, if you choose to put your child in front of a screen, I need you to understand that um, there is no such thing as an educational app. The ones that are less harmful, <clears throat> if you you know need 30 minutes to get dinner ready, um, or you've got to get through a conference call and there's no other grown up in the house to help you. Um, the three shows that I prefer are old school Mr. Rogers, not Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Um, the average shot length is dramatically faster on Daniel Tiger. So you're just, it more so than the original Mr. Rogers encourages a um, really weak attention span and really poor uh, narrative. Um, old school Sesame street. You can find these, a lot of them are free right now online. And if not, you can subscribe and I deeply believe it's worth your money. Um, and bear in the big blue house. Um, as far as stuff that you might do on YouTube, I'm still a really big fan of, um, signing time because of the movement it incorporates. And then Miss Annie's posting stuff. And, you know, if you want to call me one of those times, we can really individually talk through um, 
some specific things that you might be looking at and and wh- why I like or dislike it and what a good substitute might be. Tara has posted on the Rise Parent Facebook page a lot of encouragement about just let your kid play, let your kid explore, you know, within the safety confines. It's it's fine. It's how they learn best by actual experience. Um, the data, like just to give you some idea, if you just watch something on a screen, you need it to repeat 400 times for you to learn that word or concept. If you are engaged in dynamic play with another human being, um, with real toys and real materials, it's like 10 to 20 repetitions, depending on how it's done. And I would love to go into more detail and dive deeper with you all on that if you um, sign up for some of those Sign Up Genius slots. So um, I am going to run to the office while I still can and get all my favorite books and materials. And then um, I am going to make a fool of myself on the screen for you guys. <laughs> so um, let me know specifically what works and what doesn't so that I can adjust. I always prefer real time in person, except for maybe with my own children right now. Might have had enough of that. <laughs> um, but I want to do what is most helpful to you. So thanks and um, good luck to us all.